Hey, I'm Dr. Nick Carr with Sinai Urgent Care, and today I'm going to be discussing vaping, or more specifically, uh, what's known as e-valley. So it's e-cigarette or vaping-associated lung injury. Symptoms of this include um, so respiratory symptoms, which could be things like cough, shortness of breath, uh, and as well as chest pain. You can have GI symptoms, so nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. Additionally, there's systemic effects, things like fevers, chills, and weight loss. Some patients have reported that their symptoms developed over a few days, um, although many individuals comment that their symptoms um, developed over uh, several weeks. And a lung infection does not appear to be causing uh, e -Valley. So what do we know about um, these types of injuries? So as of November 2019, there have been over 2,300 e-cigarette-related lung injuries in the United States. And unfortunately, this includes 47 deaths. Most, so 82% of the samples analyzed by the CDC tested positive for THC. And what's causing this to occur? Well, the CDC has figured out, it seems to be that vitamin E acetate, which is a thickener, um, is a chemical of concern among people who suffer from e-valley. And it's a thickening agent, it's often used in THC vaping products. And again, it was found in all, all lung fluid samples of E-Valley uh, patients examined by the CDC. Additionally, these cases appear to predominantly affect individuals who modify their vaping uh, devices, or they're using black market um, modified uh, e-liquids. This is especially true for the vaping products which contain THC, the active ingredient found in marijuana. So currently the CDC recommendation is um, that vaping, while it's safer than, than uh, traditional cigarettes, is still by no means safe. And so they're suggesting that if you're going to vape, you should avoid THC containing vaping products. Additionally, you should avoid obtaining uh, any from any informal or bootleg sources. So this would include online, uh, additionally, they're saying that you should not modify your um, vaping device. So again, you know, even as I was getting ready to put this together, there was new information coming out, this information about vitamin E acetate. So I imagine over the coming weeks to months, we're going to find out more and more about uh, the dangers involved with vaping. Um, if you have any questions about uh, this uh, video, please feel free to leave them in the comments section or you can send those to us directly. Um, and additionally, we'll make sure we include some information linking to the CDC if you want to find out more about uh, what we actually know about the, the risks and harms associated with vaping. Thanks.